No, so I hope you're having a good day where you are. So I'm just making a quick video, hopefully, of uh, Jonathan Seller reacting to CoffeeZilla because I, I don't agree with a lot of the stuff he said in this video. Um, so let's have a look at that. Let's uh, analyze that. Um, let me just close this thing down so I can see a bit better. So just play this little clip. You know something huh. about gold? Yeah, so I'm playing clips without context, okay? So I agree with what he's saying here, a clip without context, but I'm not doing that yet. If you play little clips, that can end up being... Uh, you can play them out of context, okay? But I feel like I never do that. So if I do do that, you know, pull me up on it. But I don't think I do that. Bridge, but you've never actually looked into it. I would caution you to make sure you do your due diligence, literally. So he's talking about doing due, due diligence on Goldbridge. And so these Goldbridge videos have been removed from his site, which we'll also talk about a little bit later as well. But we we can't do our due diligence properly on videos. So I, I don't think uh, when I sort of got into this kind of thing, uh, reporting on Ponzi's and things like that, or looking at projects and thinking, are, are these any good kind of thing? I don't think I was around when he did this. Um, I vaguely remember it, actually. Uh, but I, I wasn't really that interested in it, so I didn't watch it. Sorry, Jonathan. <laughs> um, so I didn't really watch it. But the point is, we can't look at it now, okay, because these videos have been taken down. So we can't do our own research. Use your critical brain of yours. And that is really fucking condescending. You know, use your, use your critical. You know, it's so condescending the way he says that. Mr. Superior Jonathan Seller. And stop interpreting seeing a clip. And That's quite funny. Stop interpreting things, okay? Okay, let's go up to 216. You guys saw it. A lot of celebrities got duped into this protocol, not a protocol, a huge company called FTX, Sam Bakeman Free. He told them one thing, but he did another. And even guys like Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank that did their due diligence couldn't see what was on. So he's actually making an assumption there. He's, he's making the assumption that Jonathan, uh, not Jonathan, that Mr. Wonderful, uh, Aka Kevin O'Leary, or Kevin, o Kevin O'Leary, Aka Mr. Wonderful uh, from Shark Tank, did his due diligence. But actually, Kevin O'Leary admitted later that he didn't do his due diligence on the platform. So you know he's he's saying make us you know don't make assumptions. But he's actually just made an assumption about Kevin O'Leary that he did his due, due diligence and he didn't. And even Kevin O'Leary admitted that. So you know Jonathan Seller, you haven't looked at the facts, okay? Uh, Kevin O'Leary went into FTX because he was paid fifteen million dollars. And he didn't need to do any due diligence on it. He he saw that it was a crypto exchange. He thought it was okay. He went into it. He took the moolah, okay? He took the money because it was a massive amount of money and he couldn't refuse it. And uh, he ended up losing it all. It all got stuck on FTX in the end. But the point is he didn't lose anything because he was... He was given that in the first place. So he hasn't really lost anything like everyone else has. So when he when when Kevin O'Leary is promoting or promoted FTX and he's saying that he's got his crypto in there and he believes in it and all of that, he was actually a spokesperson. He was a paid spokesperson. So he didn't really lose anything. Okay. So he didn't lose anything in a in a in a monetary sense of uh, view. And he didn't need to do his due diligence on it so much because he was getting paid a shitload of money so he didn't really care okay if it was good or bad or indifferent so jonathan you haven't really looked into that properly i thought you said you were going to okay so 327 about there will do I a response to seeing himself on video that's that's a misnomer and by the way the gold bridge videos that you're like, oh, did they remove the videos? Those videos had been removed for months. When a project, we, we, we sold out memberships. And at that point, we didn't leave the content up because we didn't want to get hit up. Hey, can I get in this? Hey, can I get in this? So those videos have been down for a while. That's not me ducking or hiding. So again, this is where you have to come. So he says, uh, uh, 
the Goldbridge videos were taken down and he wasn't ducking and hiding and stuff like that. But what about FX Master Gold? What about Bitforge? Um, what about the recent one, Scuba Finance or something like that, that was only done about a couple of weeks ago? Uh, what about Earn Big? Okay, because I can't find those. And there must be other videos as well. When I say must, I'm making an assumption there. Sorry, I shouldn't do that. But there's probably other projects on there. I'll ask people in the comments to write any other projects where, where it's removed the videos. So those are four, okay? FX Master Gold, Bitforge, the shark thing. I can't even remember what it was, but it was basically a, an ROI play. Um, and uh, Earn Big, okay, which is another, um, was it seven-day uh, project or something like that? The seven-day team or something? I can't remember what they're called. But he's done numerous videos with someone, some uh, developer team called the seven-day team team okay where basically the project's gonna derail within seven days i think that's kind of the logic behind it so yeah he, he, he takes down other videos okay so he can't just say oh i took goldbridge down because of this okay it ended what about all the other things which were blatant ponzi schemes okay earn big and the scuba one was clear cut Ponzi scheme. So there's no um, external revenue in it or anything like that. And I believe that Jonathan Sellen knows that those projects are Ponzi schemes. There is no utility in them. They're what he calls casino plays, although I hate that expression that he uses. And I've done a video about that. Okay, so let's look at 641 then. Okay, let's go about here. Crypto recommendations. Type in any popular projects. Type in, like, for instance, I was in a project called Drip. Drip is pure Ponzinomics. So anybody that talks about Drip. Okay, so he's actually admitting here that Drip is a Ponzi by saying that. I guess we could say they're promoting a Ponzi. Now, you have to decide whether or not that's ethical or not. Um, that's up to you. If someone knows that... Well, that's not true, is it? Okay. Okay, so what are the law on Ponzi's in the USA? Ponzi schemes are illegal in the United States. They are generally prosecuted under federal and state white-collar crimes law, pyramid um, statutes, securities laws, wire and mail fraud statutes, and RICO laws, whatever RICO means. I don't know what that means. Ponzi scheme prosecutions are charged as felonies okay felonies you're breaking the law basically so when he says you know he does this thing all the time where he sort of says oh it's up to you no 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 there's there's law involved okay the police are involved yeah it's it it's 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 a crime i was going to say a crime against humanity but not quite that much okay um it's a crime it's nothing to do with whether you decide, the next door neighbor decides whether it's good or bad. No, it's a police matter, okay, effectively. Something is a Ponzi and doesn't disclose that. That to me is where it becomes unethical. Okay, so he's talking, you know, he's saying unethical, uh, where they don't disclose it's a Ponzi. Um, you know, you, you just shouldn't be, it's against the law, you know. Ponzi schemes are illegal in the United States. So in other words, if you're promoting a Ponzi scheme, you know, and you know it's a Ponzi scheme, you're breaking the law. It's as simple as that. It's clear cut. So these things like the scuba one, the earn big, he knows, I believe Jonathan Seller knows that these are Ponzi schemes. If they're going to end in seven days and they've got no external revenue, okay, he knows, Jonathan Seller knows, in my opinion, that that is a Ponzi scheme. And I've got good evidence that. So I'm not just speculating. He's clearly said that Drip is a Ponzi scheme. And Drip is a much more complicated device, um, a much more fi uh, complicated financial, um, oh, what's the word? Financial system, okay, than Earn Big and things like that. Drip is less 
are obvious to be a Ponzi scheme. I mean, it clearly is a Ponzi I mean, it, to me, it's clearly a Ponzi scheme, but to other people, it's not completely obvious that Drip is a Ponzi scheme, all right? Where, so if he recognizes that Drip is a Ponzi scheme, then he obviously, in my mind, it, 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 it's clear to make that transition to things like Earn Big and the scuba thing he advertised last week um, as a Ponzi scheme, okay? And the only reason why he's ad, uh, promoting these things like Earn Big is because he's getting paid to do them. He, now, he admits to doing that. You know, he, admit, he admits to getting um, uh, given, like, the money to put in the, to the system and things like that. Okay. Does it matter that Mike and myself... Ah! Gone, where have I gone? our communities. Mike had a YouTube channel at the time. I think that's horrible. It is where it becomes unethical. Does it matter that Mike and myself had zero information on what was actually happening behind the scenes of Trader's Domain? If you have bad intent and you try to lure people into something for your own personal financial gain, I think well, you know, he's kind of saying here, he, he, he is luring people in, okay? Uh, Jonathan Sellers gets paid to promote these things, and he's luring people in, okay, into these things, in my opinion, all right? To to put their money into these platforms, like the, sh the sh I can't remember the thing. It was scuba something or other. I can't remember. Let's just call it scuba. Actually, I'm not going to call it whatever it is. Scuba something or other. All right. So he's basically luring people into these things to lose their money. Okay. That, that you know that that is it benefits the people, the developers, for people to come in and lose their money. That that is you know that is the bottom line. I think that's horrible. And he's basically saying that's that horrible. Well, that's what he, you're doing there, Jonathan. And, it's and that's why I make these videos, because I think what you are doing is horrible. You're doing that, in my opinion. You're luring people in with your videos and making them look great when you work sometimes make $1,000 in a day in 24 hours. You're luring people in, and you've just said that that is horrible. So, back to how did Goldbridge get going? Well, after about three okay, months... Okay, let's skip this, to this bit. Because this bit is a bit amusing. Uh, sorry about this. I want to wait for the facts to be clear, and then, and then I'll give my opinion. But when the facts are this muddy, it's like, I don't know what's going on. And I hope that people like our YouTuber friend does get to the bottom of this. That, that's why I'm so grateful. A uh, month ago, I, I knew that he'd be a part of uh, doing this investigation and we couldn't be more excited because think about it. All of my money is tied up in Trader's Domain. All of Mike's money, all of the people in Goldbridge, we want answers. Okay. We were scammed. Now, it's <laughs> so we were scammed now. Okay. Let's just go back to here a minute. 1549, isn't it? let's go here i want to wait for the facts so he wants to wait for the facts okay this is what he keeps saying he keeps saying to us gotta do your due diligence gotta wait for the facts because you don't want to jump the gun and all of that and then and then i'll get my so his opinion of this thing that has been in this uh not gold bridge but this other trader's domain which he's he's basically used gold bridge funds or he's created this uh, four million fund with Goldbridge to then put into Traders Domain. Okay, I think that's what I can gather. Um, but when the facts are this muddy, it's like I don't know what's going on, and I hope that people like. So he doesn't know what's going on. He don't. He doesn't know what the facts are. Our YouTuber friend does get to the bottom of this. That that's why I'm so grateful. A month ago, I I knew that he'd be a part of uh, doing this investigation and. We couldn't be more excited because think about it. All of my money is tied up in Trader's Domain. 
all of Mike's money, all of the people in Goldberg. We want answers. Okay, we were scammed. So all the money is tied up in traders' domain. Okay. Next minute, or the next second, he's saying, "We were scammed." <laughs> So he hasn't got the facts. He's now stated that they were scammed as like a fact. All right. <laughs> you know, it's literally about, it's literally like 30 seconds later, he's saying to people, you know, and up here, the very start, at the first 30 seconds, he's saying, do your due diligence, don't jump the gun, you know, uh, get all the facts and all of that. And then the next second, he's saying, we were scammed. Yeah, although he hasn't got all the facts, you know, he, he contradicts himself all the all the freaking time. Okay, so later I'm going to play this just for me. Officially takes over, so that is the lesson learned for me here. Is you know, well, again, it, the lesson has always been there because anytime I got into any crypto project, I treat my crypto plays totally different than I do like buying Apple or buying Tesla. The crypto is casino money. It's risk capital. Now I put in six figures. So it was, it was with me waiting a long time. Can you imagine getting in day one and then launching a project? Hey guys, this is amazing. It's going great. No, 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 no. That's not what happened. I was in it for like three months with Mike <laughs> doing our due diligence. We understood. We tested. With I don't seem to know. Uh, I think I've gone a bit wrong here. But basically, he, he kind of says, so um, I don't know if or whether, whether to believe him or not, whether it's a scam or whether this um, this uh, trader's domain guy um, is actually sort of telling the truth about it's, his money stuck because it's waiting. Uh, new companies bought it or something like that. Okay. So, but I did thought, thought I think it was kind of funny in that 32nd bit, he'd say, wait for the facts. And then, then he says, we were scammed. <laughs> 23, uh, 23 about, let's go about here. Video to stuff. I thought I had better, better at least come on here. Kevin O'Leary on why he invested in FTX. Uh, is Kevin Leary a bad investor now? Is he a bad person? Is Kevin O'Leary a bad person? Well, I'll let you go and have a look on some various things. You know, um, that have happened in the past. Um, the soft key um, company that he sold to Mattel or something for like four billion. There's a lot of shady stuff going there. He was involved in in a boating uh, lake accident where his wife was driving apparently the boat and they ended up killing two people. There's a lot of. I'm not saying it's. You know, I'm not saying it wasn't an accident or anything like that, but all I'm saying is a lot of shady stuff. Okay, so make your own mind up on that. Uh, I don't think Kevin Oller is um, Mr. Wonderful, let's put it like that. And obviously we know that he took $15 million and didn't do his due diligence on FTX, and he's completely admitted that. So, yeah, Kevin O'Leary isn't a wonderful guy. 2346. Okay, let's just carry on playing. Um, let's type in right here. Uh, let's type in Drip. This is a DeFi protocol. Drip Network. Can't even spell. Look at all these people. Drip New Eyes finally here. Mega bullish. The Drip Network. Um, Drip Network. Drip. All these people right here are promoting a Ponzi. Wow. So he knows they're promoting a Ponzi. Yep. They shouldn't be doing that, okay? So I I don't agree with um, YouTube displaying videos where people are promoting a Ponzi. So YouTube should take these down. But the reason why I believe they aren't going to take them down is because they're making a, a damn sight a, a lot of money from advertising revenue, okay? And if they had to take all of these kind of videos down on not just Drip, but, you know, every other thing, they're... They'd lose so much in advertising revenue, you feel. Okay, so that's one of the reasons. And some of these aren't completely, you know, they're not all about, you know, you should put your money into drip kind of thing. Uh, it's the greatest thing since slight spread. I don't think they're all saying that. Okay, I've got a video on drip, and I'm a, I actually just say it's a Ponzi scheme. Okay, so, um, yeah. Uh, this other thing I just is just a bit weird. Okay, again. 
wrapped up on this. Seven stocks to buy now, financial education. So he's pulling people up about buying stocks. Now, stocks are like, you know, let, let's say you want to invest in uh, Tesla or something like that. There's nothing wrong, in my opinion, for people saying, you know, this is a good investment, okay? Uh, you know, that is their opinion. So the First, um, first Amendment, is it the First Amendment? Yeah about freedom of speech, basically. So people can say, you know, in their opinion, that, you know, Tesla's a good stock. You know, they they can say that, okay. Um, you're allowed to say that. And, and the argument is that you're also allowed to say, oh, Drip's a good buy as well, kind of thing. And that's kind of, that's where it gets, <sighs> yeah, it's, it's a difficult one in some respects, okay. I think Drip is a clear-cut Ponzi. And YouTube should be removing the videos. Tesla <laughs> clearly isn't a Ponzi, okay? You're buying cars, you're getting you're getting potential value for your money, okay? It's not a Ponzi scheme. You're buying stocks, buying Tesla shares and things like that, buying Google shares. Um, you know, you've got a potential to make some money on there. They're not a complete ripoff, okay? Now you could lose your money. All right. Well, that's just in his opinion, he's then going to sort of state why buying a certain stock is going to be good or bad or indifferent. OK. And then you can listen to his opinion and think, yeah, you know, he's got a point, that kind of thing. So there's nothing wrong in that. OK. Um, 2507. So I think this is about Jim Cramer. Aaron, look at this guy. I mean, what if he recommended a stock to me? And I yeah, but yeah, you see, he's going about stocks again. So he's recommend he can potentially recommend a stock, but he's going to give you reasons why you might buy this stock or not. Okay, and clearly, you know, stocks in something like Adidas or something like that. We all know there's Adidas shoes and things like that. But they might he might be giving advice saying, oh well, there's a new launch of a new shoe coming up, and that's why you might want to buy it because the shares might boost because there's a new shoe coming out or something like that. By the way, I have no idea whether there's a new shoe coming out or not. I went into it and I lost money. I'm going after this guy. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Does any other channel do this in the U.S.? I know you might be watching. CNBC, Jim Crater, Jim Cramer. Oh, my gosh. Are all day. There's so we all know about Jim Cramer on uh, CNBC or something like that. So he sort of talks about stuff. Now, the thing is about Jim Cramer, he's not allowed to invest in any of these stocks that he's pushing, okay, uh, until five days after the after he's pushed them or whatever. So he can't make any gains from it. Yes, they're making a program on it. So uh, you could argue that they're getting advertising from 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 the program and creating the content and that kind of thing. Uh, but he's not really gaining any financial in theory. Okay, we hope. Otherwise, he'd be breaking the law. Um, so he can't be investing in these stocks until like five days sort of after he's um, made a video on it or something. Okay. So as long as he's not doing that, taking advantage, then that's okay. Endorse or recommend. Okay. So when something okay. fear, just... the uncertainty, and the doubt. And I did that, and Mike did that. We made sure we did that with Goldbridge and with every project you'll find on this channel. That's the one consistent theme that you'll find. There is no moon boy talk on this channel. I will get into all sorts of clips, but the one thing I won't do is promote, endorse, or recommend. Okay, so the other two, I don't think he does that, but the word promote, okay. Definition of promotion. Activity that supports or encourages a cause, venture, or aim. The publicizing of a product, organization, or venture as to increase sales. So clearly when he's doing these things like earn big, all right, he's promoting it because he's trying to get people, okay, into the platform. Now these people wouldn't come on his platform, pay him like $2,000 to put into the platform and pay him like another $500 guaranteed money um, to promote these platforms. And he admits to promoting various um you know you'll say this is a paid promotion in fact he says that this is a paid promotion i think he uses those words um or this what what does he use? i'm i'm uh, okay i'm not going to say i'm sure 
But I think he's used the phrase, this is a paid promotion and pass. You'll have to look that up, guys. OK, um, but he's taken a lot of these videos down. So it's going to be very difficult to look to see whether he said those things. Um, but he does say that this is a paid video or something like that. Whether he says paid promotion, I don't know. But the point is, all right, it doesn't really matter. We've seen him put money in platforms before. And clearly, from this definition here, an activity that supports or encourages a cause, venture or aim, the publicizing of a product, okay? So he he, he is, okay? Um, promotion is that, okay? Publicizing a product. If he's got a website on there, He's promoting it by putting money in it, all right? So he's completely wrong in that that aspect. So that's my video on, on that, on the response of uh, his response to CoffeeZilla. Um, well, it'll be interested in your comments, okay?